Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Aw. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. Starting off with business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. Last time we told you Brightline plans on delaying its high-speed rail project that would go from Las Vegas to LA, at least until 2022. But now it looks like they're making some progress. We've just learned the company has purchased 110 acres of land on Las Vegas Boulevard South to house a terminal station. No word on how much Brightline paid for it. Plans call for a 65,000 square foot terminal with ample parking and connections to the high-speed rail line. Speaking of transportation, it's considered one of Las Vegas's most dangerous roads. Spearheaded by Senator Catherine Cortez Masto, the Boulder Highway will be upgraded thanks in part to a $40 million federal grant. New street lighting, they're going to take down the, the traffic lane from 6 to 4, uh, adding a dedicated bus lane, dedicated bike lanes, and improved street lighting. Um, they're going to add about six more pedestrian crossings along the way in addition to the ones they already have. Officials report that a 15-mile stretch of that road accounts for almost 10 percent of total pedestrian fatalities in the state. Now to your other top stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. New stats show burglaries are up almost 10 percent in Las Vegas this year. On top of that, the area with the second highest increase may surprise you. Review Journal's Renee Semmerauer tells us where. Good evening, Renee. Good evening, Jen. In Summerlin, burglaries were up 33% as of June 25th compared with this time last year. Metro Police Department shows Summerlin detectives responded to 472 burglaries. The greatest area of increase, the Convention Center area, which also covers the Strip, at 47%. But other areas of the valley also saw increases. And of course, like most statistics from last year, the pandemic had an effect on the increase. A lot of neighborhoods had an increase and police attributed to the fact that last year everyone was home. Burglars aren't really interested in houses that people could be in potentially. Metro Lieutenant Michelle Tavares urges residents to lock up their guns and extra car keys and to also get to know your neighbors. Even if residents don't want to invest in cameras, it's good to know which neighbors have them for your benefit. Jen. Now to your lifestyle news, sponsored by Oakmont of Las Vegas, assisted living and memory care, the best care for the best life. Did you lose your dog during the 4th of July fireworks? You're not the only one. Just take a look at these emotional reunions. They were lost and now they are found. So far, the Animal Foundation says they've taken in 237 stray animals from July 1st to the 5th. So when we're able to see that heartbreak uh, turn into such a heartwarming reunion, that's what we always hope for. That's obviously ideal, is to reunite these pets with their owners. The shelter says most of these pets were able to reunite with their owners because they were either microchipped or wearing collars. Now to your weather, sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour is here for you. We're warning you, the heat is back and in full force. The Las Vegas region is under an excessive heat warning from Wednesday to Monday, and this kind of extreme heat can be dangerous. Stay hydrated, use sunscreen, and avoid staying outside for too long. Now looking at your forecast for tonight, temps are dropping to the upper 80s with clear skies and slight breezes. And temperatures really start to climb on Wednesday. We have a high of 115 degrees, then a slight drop for the end of the work week before we spike back up on Saturday. Also expect some humidity and a slight chance of rain. Here's the latest in sports. The longest running college football all-star game is coming to Las Vegas. The East-West Shrine Bowl game will be played at Allegiant Stadium on February 3rd, the same week as the NFL's Pro Bowl. Well, we always knew building Allegiant Stadium was going to draw events uh, here to Las Vegas, and the East-West Shrine game is the latest uh, along that line. It'll uh, be in conjunction with the Pro Bowl. Uh, they'll practice kind of together for that, for that whole week, leading up to the game on Thursday for the, for the uh, Shrine Bowl and then Sunday 
for the Pro Bowl. Uh, it's a great event for senior players, college players that are trying to you know get noticed by the NFL. So you have a whole bunch of NFL scouts here. It's a great event. It's the oldest all-star game uh, in, the, in the country. It's been around for 90 some odd years. Uh, so it'll be fun to have it come to Las Vegas. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Top seed Novak Djokovic is a minus 260 favorite at the Westgate to win his sixth Wimbledon title with the field down to eight for Wednesday's quarterfinals. Roger Federer, who has won eight Wimbledon titles, is the second choice at plus 550. Meanwhile, the women are down to the final four. Top seed Ash Barty is the plus 160 favorite, and number two seed Arena Sabalenka is the second choice at plus 225. In your health news, sponsored by 4M Dental, love your smile again. The number of COVID cases continue to climb. The state reports more than 1,300 new cases and five deaths over the preceding four days, plus a sharp increase in the test positivity rate. And that brings the state's case total to more than 336,000 and the death total to more than 5,700. In an effort to fight this pandemic, we want to introduce Nevada Air Guard Captain Kalina Longworth, a.k.a. Baby Doc. Baby Doc says she knew from a young age she wanted to be a doctor. And when the pandemic hit, she helped vaccinate more than 4,000 people, earning that unique nickname. And she says without enough people administering vaccines, quote, grandparents can't be reunited with their grandchildren. In your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada. A $30 million art house in downtown Las Vegas is set to open in 2022. Named the Beverly Theater, it will feature independent films and performance theater. The Rogers Foundation says it will fill a void in Southern Nevada for artistic expression. Plus, it's Miley Cyrus like we've never seen her, rocking a sky-high blonde mullet dressed in a leather vest and American flag mini for the opening night of the IU Day Club. She covered Blondie, Dolly Parton, and closed the night with her own hit song, Wrecking Ball. Also on the 4th of July weekend, here's what happened at Park Theater. Bruno Mars opened his first show since the pandemic to a crowd of 5,200 joking about taking people's phones away and even singing a short rendition of Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you have Amazon Fire TV, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Take care. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.